Your voice is nice or whatever. You should like go try out for like chorus and like my voice used to be like really light when I was uh, younger. I had no fucking um, bass to my voice, so I went to try out for chorus and I got into the shit. Now like, she put me as baritone and then like eighth grade came and like they were doing the whiz and like everything was all kind of tied in together. You know like how arts classes are in like middle school and like high school. So like the chorus was kind of tied to like the dance class. The dance class did the fucking like plays or whatever. So like the whiz. So I went to go try out, not knowing what the fuck I was getting myself into. And they're like, oh, I think you should try for the Wiz since you are, for the Wizard since like you have a baritone voice, you know, and like you're a dude, go for that role. And then I fucking like did that shit and I got the role, man. Like, that was a, that was one of the best experiences. That's my. epic. It was me right here. <laughs> what do you remember about that? Not ever studying my lines and like getting up on stage one time and butchering the lines, but like just, Filling it in with whatever I felt like fit in there. Miss McNally was her name, I think. And she was just like looking at me on the side, like, yo, what the hell is this kid doing? But just improv and shit. Yeah. So you've been yeah. kind of musically trained for Yeah, yeah, it was cool singing. Like it was real I, I always loved music, you feel me? So like it was really fun like singing and fucking like doing it in a group in unison and shit. But yeah, since like seventh grade, man. Seventh Were grade. Were you ever course. shy to sing or it was that person who kind oh, of yeah, told you? Oh yeah, I've, you I've always been voice. shy, man. I'm still I'm still pretty shy. So like cause she said it and that was a girl too, you know, in middle school, like you trying to do you know, you trying to fuck with the girls and stuff. So like when she said that I was like, Oh yeah, hell yeah, like why not? I'll go try out if this is like <laughs> if this is cute to someone, why not? You know? And then it felt it felt good too, you feel me? Because like I was always, you know, like just like singing in the shower or some shit like that, but yeah, I never knew that I could, like, do something. So that was the first time me jumping in, like, a fucking, like, pool, you know, and seeing how that water felt. That was cool. When you grow up in New York, you feel me? Like, your influence is, like, everything, you feel me? Like, fucking... The number one thing that you fucking, like, start... You put, you take that input and you put it out, but it was, like, your clothes and shit, you feel me? Like, when you fucking, like, go to school, you try to make sure that, like, you fly. Like, making sure that you get the fucking Jordans that come out that weekend. You don't even want to go to school that Monday coming up if you don't have them shits or something, you know? But, like, that was the first, like, output, just, like, trying to get fly and stuff all the time. And then being around, just, like, sound all the time in New York, you feel me? Everything, you always hear everything. You walk outside, like, you fucking hear people talking, you feel me? Like, you hear fucking uh, taxis or whatever it is, you feel me? Like, I miss Staten Island, so, like, not too much. It's not, like, the city or some shit, but, like, it was still that New York feel, you feel me, where, like, shit was always going on, you know, so... It's up to you, really, you know, to take whichever route, you know what I'm saying? You can take that route where it's, like, you're fucking indulging into, like, the, the bad part of it, or you can, like, absorb all that shit and, like, put it into some put it into something that, like, you know, that can, like, benefit yourself and the world, you know what I'm saying? So, like, with me, my mother was, like, a big part... I'm about to sit down, man. Yeah. This is too much standing. Yeah, I'm a big talker, man, like... My pops is the type of person, like, as soon as he grabs you, like, we'll start talking. Like, you're not leaving for, like, the next, like, two hours, you feel me? So, like, with me, I make sure that I make you feel, like, what I'm saying. I guess that's another influence, too, you feel me? You ask me, like, what's, like, the, um, my influences growing up, like, my fucking parents, you feel me? Like, my pops is, like, a fucking natural-born, like, hustling and shit, you feel me? Like, from, like, growing up in West Africa, you feel me, to, like, being, uh, moving to America and, like, trying to make himself, like, his own, like, make him make himself his own businessman and shit, you feel me, like, without any kind of, like, resources, not going the traditional route just because that's not the fucking, like, shit he had to his hands, you feel me, so, like, he made, he turned whatever he had into something, you feel me, he didn't become, like, multi-millionaire and shit, but, like, he, uh, he showed me that shit is possible from nothing, you feel me, same thing with my mom, like, my mom wasn't, like, going outside and, like, hustling on my hospitals, but she would do shit in the house that would just be, like, you know, um, I can turn this into nothing, you feel me? Like, I can I can make this feeling here feel like you just got a million dollars type shit, you know? So, like, whether it was her, like, cooking, you feel me? Some days it won't be fucking, like, mad shit in the crib, but, like, she'll turn, you feel me, like, a, a box of, like, pasta 
and like some fucking like shredded cheese and like, some seasoning into like you feel me some fucking like some noble or some shit. My parents like raised me to be just like very like attentive to shit. You feel me attentive and like respectful and all that stuff. You know so like being in school, I was taking in that information and shit and like turning that into like my love from like being in New York. You feel me like my friends showing me like what style and stuff was and like fucking what music the love for like music is and shit for me like seeing other people like love that stuff mm -hmm. that made me love it as well for me to know that like wow like mm -hmm. this is the feeling that you get from this shit you know so like i found my own feelings from like the stuff that like was around me you know what i'm saying like whether it was me playing fucking like sports and shit you feel me or like watching sports like just seeing fucking style and everything you know that's like how what just kept me just like fresh in my head you know what i'm saying to like you know be like where i'm at today <laughs> You said what you asked me what's like yeah. my favorite movie? Yeah. Oh, Ratatouille, man. That's, I just watched it like two days ago. What about Ratatouille do you like? Nah, like he really kinda cooking wise, like I fucking like cook and I always think of that rat just because of like how like fluent he was with his shit. Like that's being true to yourself, man. Like he didn't fucking pick up a book for that shit. Like he was just smelling shit and what smelled right to him, he put it together and like that's far. And then he he fucking influenced like the other dude to like become something that was already in his path. Like his fucking father was the fucking, uh, the owner of the restaurant restaurant that he went to, you feel me? Like, we're going to Sammy Bay in the two six so. We're going to two six so. I'm from a block where the brothers go to war. I was a young and when they kicked down my door, boy, and the weapon, my body started to throw. That was like the positive parts of it, you feel me? But there's like a lot of negatives and like, like, um, shit that I've been through, you feel me? That wasn't just fucking, you know, happy go lucky and smiling and stuff, you feel me? But like those same things, that's life in general though, you feel me? Like you have to take every single thing that's your input mm -hmm. and turn it into something fucking fly that's your output. And like that 260 story, that's not a happy story. That shit happened in 2001, that turned that shit into like a fucking melody, you feel me? Where like, you can listen to the song and feel as though, like, damn, I connect with this shit, but you don't even know. No one knows what the story is unless I say the shit. Those words that I'm using is it, it still is universal to whatever kind of, like, fucking intense feeling. The beat itself, the fucking, like, the way how the words are, like, being said, like, you can feel that shit. You don't have to, like, walk in my, in, like, my boots. You can just feel it. Yeah, I just want to get all the lovely people. I'm begging you, please don't take my man. First favorite pair of shoes you got? Man, so I was in sixth grade. I got a pair of ice creams. And like, no one really had ice creams and shit, you feel me? So yeah, like, the Reebok ones? Yeah, the Reebok, like, the Reebok ones. But I remember the box, it was like pink. It was pink, a pink bottom, and like all blue on the top, and then like yellow on the toe. It was like a, a weird colorway, but still at the end of the day, like, no one was fucking listening to Pharrell and shit like that. I'm in sixth grade, you feel me? So like, the kids that were in eighth grade was kind of like around that shit. Like, that was like the skateboarding era too, like in New York. And I wore them like the first like couple days. And I told this one kid like where I got them from, man. And like, he went to go cop the same pair. But he was cool though, that was my man. So you feel me? So like, we was we were, like coming to school like on some like twin shit, wearing ice creams together. Like nobody else even knew what the fuck they were, you feel me? Like that was still like hood phase and weird phase, like being unaccepted during that time. Like shit wasn't always like how it is right now, you feel me? Like how everything is just like, oh yeah, that's cool, you can do that, you know what I'm saying? Back then that shit was fucking like you was getting clowned for that shit. And like when you get clowned in New York, you get like fucking clowned, you feel me? It's not just like, oh, you lame. Like, you're getting violated. The gunshot holds no fear. Say it. The gunshot holds no fear. Loose! The gunshot holds no fear. Loose! The Googling and shit, like, just one night, I, I lived in Houston for like five years and shit, so like one night I was going to sleep, man, like, the name really just came, you feel me, like, the angel number, the whole angel number eight came, just came to me going to sleep, like, I just like, you know, it, it felt fitting, so I just went with it, any number that appears, or like, even letters sometimes, like, I'll, I'll take like the number, the number count of like the letter in the alphabet, and just like add it up, and usually sometimes like it adds up to eight and shit, you feel me, so like, you gotta find signs everywhere, you know what I'm saying? The omens. <laughs> it's omens. always there if you want if you want it to be there it's always there there's three books i've sat down to read and i've read multiple times like oedipus rex that was my first favorite book uh the outsiders that was i read that shit in sixth grade and i love that movie too but then when i got older i read the uh 
the Tao of Wu uh, by RZA. I read that like two times. What lessons did you take from that one? Uh, that's a God body right there, man. That's the OG. So he, when, whenever it comes to anything spiritual, you feel me, or anything that has to do with like out of the body experience, you feel me, like he's the one that like kind of guides me, him and my father, you feel me, like they're the ones that, that set that path or show me like, yo, this is the right way to go and like how to stay true to like what's inside, you know, so. I grew up in Park Hill, you feel me, for like 10 years. So living there, I understood exactly like what he was saying in a lot of the shit, you feel me, because like, that's the same neighborhood, you feel me. It's always good when you, when, when like you have some shit to like, to relate to that feels like you're like not alone and shit, you know. Oh yeah, I just got these, man. Fucking, uh, my brother Justin, man, since uh, seventh grade, he bought me these, but like, it's not only for the sneaker, you feel me, like, it's uh, it's the story behind it. That's why they're on my feet, you feel me. Everything has to have like the story, you feel me. So when these just came out, they were sold out fucking everywhere, man. Like sold out everywhere. So like, they had two colorways that came out that same weekend. It was this black color, and then they had the all white color. It was the woman's one. So when I went to the store, like my father went to like, to like get it for me and shit, but like the black one wasn't there. So I was like, hey, fuck it. I can't leave here with no sneakers. You feel me? I go back to school with old sneakers. So I'm getting these white ones. Like, they're still tough to me. Went to school, everybody and their mom has on like the black pairs, like these pairs here. And I just remember feeling like, damn, like, I'm the only one with these shits, but I don't give a fuck. Like, it's still, it's still nice to me. And then I fucking see Justin, and Justin has the same white pair on, the same pair I have on. I'm like, damn, dude, why do you have these? He's like, you're just the only ones here, and they're still tough to me, too. I'm like, damn. You feel me? Like, that's the same thing, man. Like, when you feel shit, like, that, you can still connect with people, man, when you, when you fucking, like, put it out into whatever you put it out into. Like, I put it out into my sneakers. And like he having the same pair of sneakers, like I felt that connection that damn, it's not only the shoes, you feel me? It's that whole mindset and like that feeling that is it's similar, you feel me? So like with these, he bought these for my birthday and all the numbers add up again, you feel me? Like these are the Jordan 8s, you feel me? This year, this year is our Jordan year. I turned 23, you feel me? So this is our Jordan year. And then his birthday is a week after mine. Like we're both Leos. His birthday is on the 15th. And then eight plus 15 is 23 as well. So like it just, you know, I may sound like I'm saying some like crazy like yeah. space shit, you feel me, but we read into that shit, it keeps life up. I like to just wear what I like. You feel me? I don't um I don't really just like buy, you know, pieces that are just like pop at the moment, you feel me? And even if I do, I focus more on like the feeling rather than like what I can feel on feel my hand. You know, more of like the inside. Speak on being like emotion talking about being emotional one lyric because I'm oh, super, oh. super emotional, so. Yeah, I get that from my mom, man. Like, my mom, my mom is very, very emotional. Like, she will always be crying, too, like, whatever, with anything. Like, she will always cry, like, watching a movie, watching a commercial, like, me giving her, like, a, a, a letter or some shit, whatever it was, like, she was always crying. Like, this is probably different from what you asked, but, like, whenever she was sad, she used to, like, fucking sing. So whenever, like, something was bothering her, like, she would just start singing. Like, she would be in the shower, hair singing, and I know, like, oh. There's something on my mom's like mind right now, you feel me? That's something that bothered her. So that was kind of, uh, that's kind of cool, you know, when like you fucking see shit that people do involuntarily, you know what I'm saying? Like, that like, that's, a, that's another one of their outputs, you know, they don't even fucking realize that shit, but that's what they're creating to like get out like a certain emotion, you feel me? Like she's singing to relieve that stress of like what's bothering her and shit. I feel like being sensitive is kind of seen as a weakness in this uh, society, oh, yeah, yeah. even though I feel like it's a strength. Oh, yeah. Motherfuckers are always gonna like knock whatever they're not doing, whatever's not like the popular thing to do. Birthday present for my girl. Where is that from? Milk, all the way in New York. Express package delivery. Just give me like a little intro to this. What are we watching? Uh, this is Club Lights video. The Daniel Wyatt. AJ That shot is so good though With a uh, dual screen kind of thing And when you start walking Yeah, the one way, like I came from the side yeah.